Ethan Dark, Romeo, Christian Grey, and Edward Cullen. I spent my every night dating these men for years. Those are priceless moments that made me blush and cry as I believe the true love exists. Mr. Chairman, fellow Nobis Toastmasters, friends, guests, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever been in love with a fictional character? Well, as for me, all my life I thought I was contented in the arms of military romantic heroes. But there's something that's missing. My real life Prince Charlie. Years, the third to century, while waiting for my knight in shining armor to rescue me from my curse. A curse that turned my enchanted night to darkness, fears. In my very own fairy tale, it went like this. Once upon a time, I met a prince. He's not the typical prince charming, with gorgeous eyes and irresistible curse. He's arrogant, self-absorbed, and he used to date all the girls in his room. One night, I walked into him. Everything started with a simple talk a long, deep conversation. As days go by, Prince Charming did everything to get my attention, and as I start to push him away, I realize that I'm getting more attached to him. Every day of my life is like a fairy tale. He used to give me heart and flowers. I was young and in love. It feels like I'm Elizabeth Benet, Catherine Earnshaw, Isabella Swan, and Patricia Steele. Well, but why me? Why the hell would the prince love me? I'm not pretty. I'm stupid, and I'm just a nobody. These thoughts keep coming, and they realize that I've fallen even harder on the sweetest part. Thinking that, thinking that my curse is gone, and this is what they call true love, I was ready for a happy ever after. However, one night, he left me in the bed. All the things we've been through means nothing. My world fell apart, tears are running down, and I can feel the pain burning in my heart as I start to drown in my own thoughts again. Now, I do believe that life is a battle between letting go and holding on. They say we should fight for what we love, and I say, how can we fight for what we love if they continue to push us? How can we move on if the memories keep us moving? Love is about getting what you want and doing what you love. It's about being happy for the person you love, keeping it even if it feels like it. Now, I know the feeling of being at the Anastasia's deal of the Fifty Shades of Day. As I quote, Sometimes, I wonder if there's something wrong with me. Perhaps, I've spent too long in the company of military romantic heroes. And consequently, my ideals and expectations are far too high, but in reality, no one's ever made me feel like that. The nights with my romantic feelings, the emptiness and darkness of me, was filled with glow and gratification. I have encountered numerous fairy tales that made me feel like I will trip on the stairs and left my other shoe. I'll be locked up in a tower whose gates are 